Hey everybody, welcome back to Nuvino's channel. And if you wonder why this logo is in the background, then well, we might get PHP in JavaScript after all. Let's check it out. Here we go. All right, this video starts a bit different than the usual because here we see our actual application running on localhost 3000 and it just says hello and then the URL. If we change it, of course, like to, I don't know, ABC, this will also update. So it's a very dynamic template, but we should have a look at the code and then we can discuss further. So what is this? Hello, and then smaller than question mark equals dollar request dot URL question mark greater than? Is this PHP? Well, not really. This is actually a new experimental hypertext processor that's also part of Nitro right now called Rendu. So let's dive into, see why this exists, even there are so many other templating engines and uh, the benefits of that, of course. And to start with the story, we have to take a look at Vite's server-side rendering mechanism. Let's take a look at an example. For example, this uh, vanilla project here from Create Vite Extra by Bluey, uh, Bjorn in here and see how SSR and V roughly works. Because if we take a look at this index HTML file here, we have two placeholders, right? We have app had and app HTML. And depending on what happens, these are actually replaced then by the HTML chunk for the server side and the had as well, if you want to inject certain things or on the client side, of course, the equivalent. We see this if you go here to our source file and then we have a look into the entry server.js and we see, okay, we have a render function here is our HTML will be inserted. That's returned. Great. We're good to go from here. And we can go back. We see we have our entry client.js. This is just a very simple counter. And now if we go out of the source folder and the server.js, that is the server side rendering, we see, okay, this index file is being read depending on write and production that is happening. Otherwise not. We can start any kind of server. For example, here, if this uh, vanilla template express, but it doesn't matter too much, we use create server from Vite. We say, please use the middleware, compression, et cetera, et cetera. And eventually we want to take a look if it's not in production, it's fine. We use transform index HTML, but otherwise we want to use the HTML that exists. And then we want to render this server chunk here. And eventually we get the rendered HTML and the head and both then replace app head or app HTML with that. Now, of course, this is totally customizable. You can do that as you want, but this is the example here and in a way this is great but especially nowadays we don't only want to say hey let's replace things with strings with server-side rendering you want streaming which unlocks quite a few things and there are tons of other rendering engines out there handlebars ejs nunchucks you you name it right and the problem is that all of these or actually most of these don't support streaming so to find something that supports streaming and also has a way to handle Vite server side rendering wasn't that easy. Because, well, this all comes back to Nitro being a Vite plugin nowadays. If you haven't seen the alpha, first look into it and uh, have a look. The video is uh, linked in the description as usual. So, creator Puya was thinking, okay, what can we do here? Well, let's maybe have a different approach. Instead of just using a static HTML file, Rendu was born to say, hey, why not upgrading the static HTML file and make it dynamically renderable through a stream just to render to a response that's fully up to you. But this was the original idea. And then it continues with like, okay, how do you render expressions? How do you create, well, string interpolation, etc., etc. So, of course, the good old PHP syntax was used for that. So going back to our code, we can even do things like having a script tag and then just say echo, uh, this is an example, and we can run the whole thing. The most important part though is here we have to indicate this is a server-side script, so this is a special functionality over here uh, with Nitro and Rendu, and now we see on our website this is an example rendered as expected. But of course that's not the whole thing, otherwise it would be pretty boring. Let's have a look at how this changes things compared to a static HTML file, because so far you can do the same in just an HTML replacing content, right? Now let's add another echo under it here. Let's say echo, and then we provide a function. Let's make this whole function async, and here comes the interesting part. Maybe let's add a br up here as well, so we have actual line break. And now let's say uh, const response equals uh, we fetch some content. And of course we can just say, okay, we want to fetch the good old I can has that joke API, um, so that's a great one. Uh, 
to get some dad jokes. Now, next, we want to also provide the right headers because this needs to accept application JSON to actually get JSON back. And now we want to return uh, the response for now and take a look what it means on our website. We want to await the whole thing here and let's jump back. And here we see, okay, we get the joke that works and we can refresh. And here's the interesting part. If you see that we refresh, we actually get that example here before. Let me quickly illustrate it a bit more by adding another sleep before returning the response here. To do that, let's do await new promise. And we have resolve here. Uh, and we just say set timeout. Uh, we call resolve and this takes five times, times 1000 milliseconds. So we're at five seconds here. Oh yeah, and then we should definitely remove the call here from resolve because it should only be called during the promise resolution after the set timeout and not straight away. Otherwise, would nothing happen. So then we start to actually take a look at the website now. And for now, we see this is an example, right? This is correct. We see our hello over here. And now after five seconds, we actually see the dead joke. And same happens as we refresh. But the interesting part is if we take a look at the page source itself, we see that actually the HTML is there already. So then it gets updated right here. And I didn't refresh anything. I can refresh the whole thing. We can wait until the whole content is there. And the request is going on until then. And this ladies and gentlemen, is streaming, right? As I said before, Rendu is there, so you can actually stream content right into HTML. And now you might wonder, okay, this is strange in the PHP syntax, but think a bit further about the following. This also means that you can stream server-side rendered applications in there, and that's the whole goal of it. So this unlocks streaming for, well, every SSR application on Nitro in Vite. That's the biggest game changer for Rendu. Of course, the whole uh, like PHP syntax is fun in all games. And yes, you can also use curly brackets like in other rendering engines, but the key part here is really the streaming. And to show that this also works in production, let's just run a PMP and build real quick. We go through that, it will build the whole application. And now we just run node output server index.js uh, because we, in this case, build for node. We open it on localhost 3000, or actually, you know what? Let's change the port to a 3001, so don't we have any port contamination. All right, I've opened the dev tools, let's open the website, and here we see, okay, the request is being made, HTML is being responded. Okay, we also get the fav icon here, but the request just finished with the duration here of 7.19 seconds. Why is that? Well, because as said before, the streaming eventually finished, so if we get the raw content, we'll see that here as well, everything is there. If we do the same thing, we refresh real quick, we get this request, it's resolved. We see the streaming didn't finish here yet. This is the raw content, it's still running and boom, then we get the rest with the ID and the joke, etc. down here. So what does it mean for you, TLDR? Nitro, we took a look at it last week in last week's video, it's also linked in the description. Comes now with Rendu. Yes, you can use dollar request, dollar method, dollar cookie, which is, well, can be quite useful at least, uh, especially for the PHP folks out there. You don't have to. Uh, the main goal of Rendu is really being a streaming aggregator and a modern rendering engine that will help you server-side rendering your applications. And yes, this is also framework agnostic. We did it now uh, with just vanilla HTML, but the same can work with Vue, React, etc., etc. Examples and everything in the description. Now, let me know what you think about it. And um, well, if you want more PHP and JavaScript. Have a great day and happy hacking.